Hey everyone, and welcome to another Hemp Tips. Today, we'll be taking a look at some common hydroponic issues with the water reservoir and how to fix them. When growing with hydroponics, if your plants are showing slow growth and or nutrient balances in the leaves, they are not caused by anything visible above ground, such as pests and bugs, then that means one or more problems are happening at the root level, which means the nutrient water will need to be checked to ensure that nothing is out of balance. The nutrient water temperature should be checked first to ensure that it's between 60 to 80 degrees Fahrenheit. And this should be tested multiple times throughout the day to ensure that there's no temperature spikes when the lights are on and off. This is because when the water temperature gets too hot, the dissolved oxygen in the nutrient water will start to decrease, causing the plant to drown and inviting in pathogens that can cause root rot which we'll cover specifically in another video. And when the water temperature gets too cold, it can shut down the plant's ability to intake both water and nutrients, causing the plant to stop growing. Now for nutrient balances, this can be caused by a number of factors, but luckily there is a fix to solve just about all of them all at once and that is by replacing the entire nutrient water in the water reservoir. If this doesn't work though, then that means there's a problem with either your water or your nutrients. So first, to test the water, use a TDS meter, and if the water source is showing a reading of over 200, then there's a good chance that the imbalance is caused by the water source since there's so much stuff in it before you add in the nutrients. So try switching to a distilled water to see if that'll solve the problem. If that doesn't work, then test the water with the TDS meter after the nutrients have been applied to ensure that the nutrients are added in at the correct dosage, as every hydroponic nutrient manufacturer will publish the correct parts per million range the water should be at after the nutrients have been added. Finally, be sure to check the pH of the water before and after the nutrients have been added in, since there's a chance that the hydroponic nutrients could shift the pH slightly. And just ensure that it's always within the 5.5 to 6.5 range. Now, if your water reservoir is turning green, that means that algae has started to form in it. By itself, Algae won't hurt a plant's development other than siphoning off some of the oxygen and nutrients from the nutrient water. It can, however, clog up pumps and drains and should just be removed when visible. Algae forms when water, nutrients, and light is present. And since two of the three are always available in a water reservoir to prevent the formation of new algae, any light leaks in the water reservoir will need to be completely blocked. And that's it. Like the content? Then be sure to check out our beginner's guide to creating CBD products from scratch, available at Amazon in print and digital with links in the description below. You can also find us at hempinapot.com.